Greetings, free thinkers. Welcome to the Hogcast. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. I certainly am. Okay, what do we have for you on today's episode? I have just one clip to watch. Might be quite a short video, um, but I thought um, we really need to go over this. Um, this is uh, footage from one of the recent um, swimming competitions, women's swimming. I'm sure you've heard of the story if you haven't yet. A, um, um, you've probably heard of this. And this has been happening more than once. Where biological men, like me, or if you're a man watching this, you, decide that they're going to um, change gender and then they're going to compete with biological women in women's sports. And apparently this is okay. Not only is it okay, it's encouraged. And lo and behold, every single time the biological male destroys the woman's record. Here you're going to see a race, a swimming race. Everyone in in this race, bar one, is a biological female. There is one biological male who claims to be a female who is in this race. Okay, who do you think wins this race? <clears throat> one of the women or the man? Not only that, the winner of this race finished forty seconds ahead of the nearest competitor 40 if you keep up to date with olympics and uh, races that aren't mechanical not like vehicle races like an actual race for somebody to to win by a margin of 40 seconds isn't they'll try and spin at you they'll try and say well i work really hard and all of the rest of it 40 seconds is an unfair advantage beyond be, it's beyond doubt so we're going to get into this clip we're going to watch it um it shows you the person winning the race and you're going to see the others carry on um knowing full well that they've lost if uh, this is the thing th these women need to stop going along with this they should just, whenever they see a biological man has decided to enter their race, all of the women need to just walk off. That's my advice. And why does it never happen the other way around? I wonder why. I wonder why. So let's get into this now. If you haven't yet though, please like the video, subscribe to the podcast, hit the notification bell and share the video around. We also have a membership scheme. I have eight amazing, beautiful members who humble and honour me that they support the whole cast like they do and that they value my commentary as much as they do because we are shadow banned and deboosted we are the underdogs uh, we are conservative commentators anyway let's go okay one minute 16 we'll watch the clip through in its entirety then we'll go back we'll play it again and there's some very good points i want to make all right here we go this is a tape of uh leah thomas born will thomas and um the lefties have just gone a little too far with this one uh, Will Thomas is six foot three inch strapping young man, uh, coursing with testosterone, and here he is in a girl's swimsuit competing with the girls. And uh, here he comes, here he comes in lane four. We can see him right here, right? He's moving twice as fast as anybody else. And here's the final lap. And Will is done. And then one of these girls must be second, right? No. No. Uh, they have more to swim. How about this one here? Maybe this is second? No, she's got more to swim. How about these girls? Maybe these girls could be in second. No, we, we don't even see second yet. And, and, and there's Will just sitting there waiting. Hasn't exited the pool. Oh, finally. Hey, I think this might be it. This could be a second place finisher. Ah, now let's listen to the crowd. The crowd knows the real winner. There you go. We'll go back, watch it again, and I'll stop it intermittently to make the points I feel I need to make. And when we get to the end of the clip, I will turn the volume up because the crowd cheer when the first woman, actual woman, finishes the race. They cheer. This is what I mean. People aren't as stupid as the mainstream media, the perennial fact checkers who never seem to get anything right. People aren't as stupid as we believe. I mean, you look at society and you think, fuck, pe people are just stupid. There are stupid people out there and they all seem worryingly to be in positions of power or influence. But 
the great masses of people, the bricklayers, carpenters, the the customer service assistants, the farmers, yeah, the electricians, even the, the burger flippers, anyone, just ordinary suburbia, can see what can see it for what it is, and they know what's going on. So let's let's go back and we'll play again. Tape of uh, Leah Thomas, born Will Thomas. And um, the lefties have just gone a little too far with this one. Uh, Will Thomas is six foot three inch strapping young man, uh, coursing with testosterone, and here he is. So it's a man who is six foot three, built like a um, excrement house, a brick excrement house. <laughs> I think that's a polit politically correct way to to, to say it. So he's six foot three, masculine built, testosterone pumped, and he's competing against five foot tall women. And for you lefties, for you, you know the ones who wear the pink hats and all that, the the um, women's reproductive organ hat and all of that stuff. Yeah, you have done yourself. You've done yourself. You've played yourself. You've rushed. Like, oh, progressive, progressive, oh, it's progress, oh, you're this, you're that, you're ism, you're an ist. You've done yourself, yeah? You supported all this. As conservatives tried to warn you that the people you are backing and the, the ideology, the cult-like ideology you're supporting will lead to absurdities, yeah? Because they're trying to completely upend society. The cultural Marxists are trying to upend society and they're doing a very good job of it so i have sympathy for women's sports in general certainly for any conservative um sports women out there but for those leftist women who you know vote blue no matter who all oh, we support this all oh, it's progress you've played yourself you've done yourself in in a girls swimsuit competing with the girls and uh here he comes here he comes in lane four. We can see him right here. So that's him there. That's his lane. All of the rest are women. That's there is a six foot three built uh, biological man who decided. And and do you know what gets me here is that they they don't ever stop and think. Well, what about if someone else? It's always about what they want. Oh well, I've got rights. I've got this. I've got that. What about the other women? Haven't they got rights? It's like in schools, we're seeing that you're not even allowed to have different bathrooms anymore. Boys' bathroom, girl bathroom, they're putting them together. You've played yourself, ladies. Left-wing ladies, you've played yourself. You now have no spaces that are your own. There are no spaces that are just for women, yeah? There are literally no safe spaces for women. You now have six foot three men in there, in, in your space, that was meant to be for women. And not only that... They aren't in there being meek and kind of like, oh, we respect that this is your space. They've completely took it over. And they're destroying your sports, your spaces, even your damn toilets. You're not even allowed to have a toilet. That's for women anymore. You played yourself. Right, he's moving twice as fast as anybody else. And here's the final lap. And we'll... Right, so he's stopped. Watch, he's not going to go back over because the race for him is finished, yeah? He's finished. All of the women are still going. It's done. And then one of these girls must be second, right? No. No. Uh, they have more to swim. So look, they're still going. They've still got laps to do. He's finished. He's done. Look, he's done. How about this one here? Maybe this is second? No, she's got more to swim. How about these girls? Maybe these girls could be in second. This guy should hang his head in shame, but he doesn't. Instead, he gets out, takes the adul adulation of the mainstream media. Not a humble bone in his body. Not a considerate bone in his body. He's been taught that he is special. He's to be gloried because he is transitioning. So he, he, he is of the mindset that he's allowed to do whatever he likes to whoever he likes, whenever he likes. Society is going to change for him. And if you dare question him, you're an ism and you're an ist. No, we, we don't even see seconds yet. And, and, and there's Will just sitting there waiting. Hasn't exited the pool. If there is a shred of decency in this man's body, 
knowing that he's almost 40 seconds ahead of the nearest competition, the nearest, not last place, he is 40 seconds ahead of second place. Yeah? If there's a decent shred, uh, if there's a shred of decency in his body, he should be feeling terrible for what he's doing. Yeah, this is blatantly cheating. It's being masqueraded as social justice. Oh, finally, hey, I think this might be it. This could be a second place finisher. Ah, now let's listen to the crowd. The crowd knows the real winner. There you go. That's the best part of it all. That is the best part of it all. I hope you heard that. The current crowd cheer for the first woman. That is the official second place in this race. But she's the first woman, yeah, to get to the finish line. Finish her laps. And you've got the man there, a biological man, towering by almost a foot over the women. Much bigger physically, pumped full of testosterone. And he... And he decided to have a race against the women and he wants to be loved and respected for it and then the crowd i know we live in a clown world but it's so refreshing sometimes to see when um ordinary people the so-called silent majority are more in number than the mainstream media would have you believe and academia would have you believe and the, the um the the fact checkers would have you believe yeah so the crowd are all cheering for this woman here. There's the man there, staying in the pool as if to say, look, he hasn't even got out, as if to say, look, oh, look, I've beaten you all. I'm so good. And then that's the first woman to get there, and she gets a rapturous applause from the crowd. The end of the clip. Um, let's listen to that applause one more time. I like that. I think this might be it. This could be a second place finisher. Ah, now let's listen to the crowd. The crowd knows the real winner. There you go. So I wanted to show you that. Because it seems to be like if you're a Democrat, if you have a D in front of your name, or if you're a leftist from any part of the world, there's this prevailing uh, train of thought that if you are a Democrat, or if you are a leftist of any pew, you have carte blanche to do what you like to whoever you like. And you're above criticism. You'll never be held accountable for your actions. That's why you get things like Juicy Smolier, who do what they do. They, they don't care who they hurt. They've been told that they're special, that they're the ones with the rights, and that everyone else is just a horrible is a moronist, yeah? That you're you're special. Yes, son. If you want to win the race by 40 seconds and compete against biological women, you can do that. And if anyone dares to say anything, oh, you know, they're an ism or an ist. But I'll end by saying, I will end the way I started. Left-wing women, Democrat women, you've played yourself. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the fruits of your labour. You can now never win a race or a competition of any kind ever again because you are now competing against six foot three biological men. Yeah? And you did that. You walked into it. You promoted it. Now you can live it.